and then it happened. I think we were about halfway to the front porch. Brian Cooper was killed. they find out? I'm gonna go call Evelyn and see if there's anything I can do. Oh my God, poor Evelyn. That night I decided to go for a walk. The days were still long, and back then, kids could still go for walks at dusk without the fear of ending up on a milk carton. I went down to the big climbing tree in Harper's Woods. I didn't admit it to myself until years later, but in my mind was the shadow of a thought that Winnie might be there. She was sort of hugging herself and rocking slowly back and forth. There was a bit of a chill in the air and she didn't have a sweater. For a minute I was scared to approach her. I didn't know what to say. I had the strangest feeling. It was impossible for me to believe that Brian was dead. I'm sorry about Brian. And I'm sorry for what I said today. It wasn't true. I know. It was the first kiss for both of us. We never really talked about it afterward. But I think about the events of that day again and again, and somehow I know that Winnie does too. Whenever some blowhard starts talking about the anonymity of the suburbs, or the mindlessness of the TV generation. Because we know that inside each one of those identical boxes, with its Dodge parked out front, and its white bread on the table, and its TV set glowing blue in the falling dusk. There were people with stories. There were families bound together in the pain and the struggle of love. There were moments that made us cry with laughter. And there were moments like that one of sorrow and wonder. <laughs> 